Jedi Survivor was my most anticipated game released in 2023, and I've played it. It takes players on an exhilarating journey through the Star Wars universe. Developed by the talented team over at Respawn, this game showcases stunning graphics, captivating storytelling, and immersive gameplay. In this review, we will explore the highlights and key aspects of Jedi Survivor, making it clear why this game is a must-play for both Star Wars enthusiasts and gamers alike. Now, during my playthrough, I played the game on quality mode, so at 4K, locked at 30 frames per second. When I did try the game on performance before the patches, I did notice some graphical differences and not much with regards to FPS. It would shoot up past 30 frames per second, but I just really wasn't noticing. From the moment you start Jedi Survivor, you're transported to a galaxy far, far away. The game's visuals are nothing but short of breathtaking, but I will say the draw distance isn't the best and wish I was better. The attention to detail is remarkable from the flickering lightsabers to the intricate design of the iconic starships. The storyline of Jedi Survivor is an engaging and fantastic Star Wars story. Set after the events of Jedi Fallen Order, the writing is exceptional, delving into complex themes of loss, redemption, and the eternal struggle between light and the dark side of the Force. It successfully captures the essence of the Star Wars saga while introducing fresh and compelling characters. And I do love the fact that it is now canon in the Star Wars world, so it seems that they were given a lot more um, chances to really develop these characters and really do a lot more with the story this time. Gameplay in Jedi Survivor strikes the perfect balance between intense action and thoughtful exploration. As a Jedi Padawan, you'll have access to a wide array of force powers, lightsaber combat techniques. The combat system is intuitive and satisfying, allowing for a fluid and dynamic lightsaber duels against formidable foes. The skill progression system lets you customize your character's abilities, enabling a personalized display style that suits your preferences and stand style. A standard feature of Jedi Survivor is the expansive world design. The galaxy is yours to explore with some planets and moons ripe for discovery. Each location offers a unique challenge, hidden secrets, and diverse quests that enhance the sense of adventure and reward exploration. You have a home planet this time around where you can meet a large number of characters to interact with. Non-playable characters, or NPCs as we call them, have a distinct personality and react dynamically to your actions, making the game feel alive. Engaging in conversations with NPCs can lead to branching dialogues and impactful choices that shape your course of your narrative and can bring you into new side quests. The audio design in Jedi Survivor deserves high praise. <laughs> The iconic Star Wars soundtrack that you'll hear throughout the game accompanies you throughout your journey, adding to the depth and emotion of the key moments. The sound effects are equally impressive, from the hum of the lightsaber to the roar of the starship engine. The intention to audio detail further enhances the immersion, making you feel like you're truly part of the Star Wars universe. While Jedi Survivor is a remarkable gaming experience, it does have a few minor flaws. The occasional technical glitches and bugs can distract you from the gameplay immersion. Although a lot of these issues have been resolved through patches, some of them are still there. Additionally, some players might find the difficulty curve challenging, especially during intense combat encounters. However, with perseverance and skill progression, these challenges become opportunities for growth and mastery. You can always just put the game on story mode and the combat becomes rather easy. For us busy parents, sometimes this is a must. Don't feel bad if you want to play the game on easy instead of just getting beat up by the game. Like all games here at Three Dads, we'd like to let you know if you can play this game in front of your kids. The subject matter is Star Wars, and some finishing moves are pretty graphic, but I would say this game isn't bad with regards to, you know, mature subject matter. I let my daughter run around the home planet, and she enjoyed herself just using a lightsaber and traversal. I didn't really let her play anything else. My daughter's only six going on seven, so I really didn't think this was the game that I should be like, hey, you want to play a Star Wars game? This is the best Star Wars story I've ever played in a video game, and I highly recommend it to everybody, whether you're a Star Wars fan or not. It's currently my game of the year, but there's a lot of time left in this year, so something might change my mind, but right now, this game is tops for me.